This native Kentuckian and graduate of the University of Kentucky nearly chose a career in the insurance business, but instead decided to meet with a man named Jerry. This is Warren W. Rosenthal, the Happy Chandler Scholarship Foundation's 2008 Kentuckian Award recipient. Warren Rosenthal made history in 1948 at the age of 24 when a man named Jerry recruited him to help build Jericho Incorporated, a small food service company consisting of two five-cent hamburger stands called White Taverns and one eight-stool Jerry sandwich shop. Jerry took me under his wing and offered me a job in the restaurant industry, Warren said. But being a first, is not the main reason this Kentucky boy from Paducah is remembered as one of the most powerful and ingenious forces in the food service and franchise industry. How about 1,565 reasons? That's how many Long John Silver's, Jerry's, and Fazoli's restaurants were operating at the time Warren Rosenthal retired as chairman of the board when Jericho was the object of a takeover. This accomplishment is even more impressive when you consider that Warren Rosenthal had never considered a career in the food service industry. After retirement from Jericho, Mr. Rosenthal was, well, rather bored. So he helped revive the Renfro Valley Entertainment Center, a country music venue which he ultimately donated to the Kentucky Country Music Hall of Fame Museum. Sharing is our pleasure, Warren says, and his service to Kentucky is lengthy and impressive. He was one of the founders and is a past president of the Kentucky Restaurant Association and a past member of the National Restaurant Association. He is past president of the International Franchise Association and past member of the board of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. In addition to his business-oriented activities, Warren has found time to serve his community and was instrumental in establishing a discipline for hotel and restaurant management at Transylvania University. He was chairman of the University of Kentucky Development Council for five years and a member of the University of Kentucky Development Foundation. He served on many boards within the community and gives generously to their causes. At Shaker Village, at Pioneer Playhouse, at Transylvania, and at the Kentucky Historical Society Foundation. In 1978, he was named Outstanding Citizen of the Year by the Greater Lexington Area Chamber of Commerce. In 1979, he received the Spirit of Life Award and a research fellowship was established in his name at the City of Hope. In 1994, Warren Rosenthal was named to the University of Kentucky College of Business and Economics Hall of Fame. In 1983, the president of Iceland presented Rosenthal with the Icelandic Order of the Falcon, the highest award presented to anyone other than heads of state and royalty. The Iceland Award holds a special place in the Rosenthal Library and represents the great amount of fish purchased by Long John Silvers. These days, Warren devotes a great amount of time and fundraising energies to the Kentucky Historical Society Foundation, Kentucky's home for history. And most recently, the Kentucky Historical Society honored him by the naming of the Warren and Betty Rosenthal Permanent Exhibit Hall at the Thomas D. Clark History Center. In their spare time, Warren and Betty operate Patchen Wilkes Farm, a thoroughbred breeding establishment in Lexington. Of his wife, Betty, 
Warren says, she has put up with me for 62 years. On behalf of the Happy Chandler Scholarship Foundation, thank you, Warren, for dreaming big and making a difference. Thank you for the difference you've made in Kentucky and for never forgetting your Kentucky home.